This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Nicole Griffin, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Protests continue tonight at the scene where a 21 year old was killed by police earlier this week. Tonight, we know at least one protester has been arrested. This is video from the area 62nd Street in Michigan Road, where 21 year old Drayshawn Reed was shot and killed by an IMPD officer Wednesday. The shooting was recorded on Facebook Live by Reed and has sparked days of protests. Tonight, police say a 41 year old man has been arrested for obstruction of traffic and disorderly conduct. During the arrest, police say they were forced to use pepper ball deployment to deter a crowd as they closed in on officers, creating an unsafe environment for officers and protesters. Those we talked to say the pepper ball was uncalled for. These are people who are grieving and who are just seeking to have helpful avenues to express their grief and we're trying to give them a safe and secure way to do so. RTV 6 has requested the names of the officers involved in the pursuit and the shooting as well as their personnel records. We are waiting for IMPD's response and we will bring you that information as soon as we have it. Now to the latest on the coronavirus and how it's impacting Hoosier families just like yours. Tonight, the state health department confirms 34 new COVID-19 deaths. Meanwhile, state officials say there are 645 new COVID-19 cases in Indiana. Case information is reported based on when the data is received by the state health officials and can span over multiple days. Changes are coming for those wanting to visit Indiana State Parks during the pandemic. Admission fees are now being collected at Turkey Run, Shades, and Indiana Dune State Park. DNR officials say state properties will start charging admission fees by Friday, May 15th. Starting on Monday, restrooms, nature centers, historic facilities, and marinas will be open for use. The golf course at Fort Harrison State Park will also open in the week ahead. DNR officials remind all visitors to practice social distancing. Kyle. Showers and a few storms in your Sunday forecast. A couple of those could have some gusty winds and possibly some hail. As we look at the seven day forecast, temperatures do start to feel more May like by Thursday. That comes with another chance for rain and storms. Kyle, thank you for more weather and stories that you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.